Hey everyone, how y'all doing today and welcome back to another meta guide. So we are in the Psychic Cup. So the Psychic Cup as well as the Open Master League begin tomorrow. So we're going to be talking about the Psychic Cup. And yeah, I mean, there's some new Pokemon, new toys we could play with uh, in this meta because of the changes and some updates. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you plan on playing in the Psychic Cup or the Master League. I'll be starting in the Psychic Cup. I may jump over to the Master League. We'll see. I mean, these individual type cups are usually not my favorite. Um, but um, Psychic Cup, it's been okay, I guess, uh, in the past, so we'll see how, how it is. Uh, usually there's only a few, like three or four Pokemon that dominate, which makes sense, right? Because there's only one typing. Um, U is not allowed, by the way, but everything else is allowed as long as it has a Psychic typing on it. Uh, but with that being said, start beginning with the S rank. We have Goliath Slowbro, as well as Goliath Slow King. So Goliath Slowbro, really, really cool Pokemon, really great Pokemon. We've seen this in the past with Poison Jab. Going to be doing really well with, against those fairies, of course, right? Uh, just doing some good damage. Uh, I think it gets Brutal Swing now. Uh, am I mistaken about that? Um, but either way, pretty good Pokemon. It gets, uh, Surf as well. Oh, no, Scold or something like that. But, yeah, I, I think it does get Scold. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused about the moveset. But, uh, yeah, pretty good one. And then we have Goliath Sl Slow King with the Hex damage. Super effective to most Pokemon. Either that or at the very least neutral, uh, against them. So, yeah, really, really strong. Then we have Malamar. So, Malamar has been king of the Psychic Cup in the past as well with Psycho Cup. And now it has Psy Wave. So, gonna be getting to the foul plays. You probably do want Hyper Beam on this, uh, because Superpower is resisted by everything. Uh, or at, at least neutral, if anything else. Uh, to a couple Pokemon that are Steel typing. But, for the most part, it's gonna be resisted. You probably wanna go Hyper Beam to surprise. I, I guess it wouldn't be a surprise in this meta. But, um, yeah, definitely the way to go. Then we have Chimeco, believe it or not. Yep, you better believe it. Chimeco has Astonish. So, I don't know if Astonish is new on Chimeco. It's probably not. But, um, Astonish has never really been good before. But it was buffed this season. So, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, Chimeco is definitely gonna dominate. Claydol. So, Claydol has Mud Slap. So, another, uh, mud, oh, not another Mud Slap user. But Mud Slap was boosted this season. So, it's gonna get to the moves faster. It's gonna do more damage. It is a great Pokemon and a great move. For this meta, no doubt about it. And then we have Glory and Rapidash. So, uh, I am recording this prior to the Community Day. By the time you're watching this, Community Day had already concluded. But um, it is getting Wild Charge. But I don't really think you want Wild Charge in this meta. I think you still want the Body Slam. Uh, and then the Mega Horn. Because Mega Horn is going to be super effective. And even though Body Slam was nuked this season um it's still a great bait move right it is doing less damage but it's still a fantastic bait move uh and then shadow god of one i do recommend the shadow one because this thing is pretty frail pretty glassy uh and so you might as well do the extra damage with the shadow variant uh and as long as it's not resisting it like steel types it's going to be doing a lot or fire types uh, and then moving on to the A rank, we do have Metang with Metaclaw. So Metaclaw was buffed this season, but still not a great move, not the greatest move, right? However, it is going to help Metang in the Psychic Cup. So we'll see how that plays out. Then we have Armor Rouge. So Armor Rouge is interesting. So a little bit uh, of history, if you don't know. Uh, when you hatch a Charcadet and you evolve it, it cannot evolve into one eligible for the Great League. There are some exceptions. Uh... And ways to get around uh, getting one for the Great League. One, you could trade for a trainer who is at a really low level and that happened to hatch a Chocodet. And then if they trade you that Chocodet, you could evolve it into an Armor Rouge or a Cerulege. Or they had, um, it was like timed research they gave out. I don't know, I don't remember how you got it. Uh, it may have been Google Play. I don't remember exactly how, but it, there was some research that gave you a Chocodet encounter and you could evolve it into Armor Rouge or Cerulege that would be eligible for the Great League. I actually was given a code by uh, a friend of mine, and so I got a Chocodet uh, that is eligible for uh, the Great League, although I evolved it into a Cerulege, so uh, I'm not going to be able to use Armor Rouge. Obviously, I evolved it into a Cerulege, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but that is one way to get one. I don't have this. Obviously, as I said, I have Cerule Edge for the Great League. But, um, yeah, I don't anticipate seeing this one. But if you do see it, Incinerate is going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, but it's another glassy Pokemon. But still, just going to be doing a lot of uh, damage if you happen to see it. Then we have Victini. So Victini, uh, yeah, another great Pokemon I used in the past in the Psychic Cup. Quick Attack. 
uh, does get to the moves really fast, so we do have that V create and overheat. Just going to be doing a lot of damage. I love leading with Victini in this meta. You could go for one of the moves and then dip out. Then we have a Rangaroo. So Rangaroo, I believe, was updated with Brutal Swing this season, so super effective towards most things, which is pretty cool as a charge attack. And then we have Cresselia, so Cresselia is just, it's really on this list mainly for the bulk, uh, because, you know, I mean, it it's going to be, I guess, if, when it gets to the moves, it's going to be doing, like, a decent amount of damage, but um, we'll, we'll see how many Cresselia we see in this meta, probably not a whole lot, we'll see. Uh, and then moving on to the B rank, we do have Latios, so Shadow of Latios, I do recommend the Shadow version, uh, the Dragon Breath damage is no joke. Uh, and then we have the regular, the Cantonian Slowbro and Slow King with Water Gun. Yes, Water Gun is going to be doing neutral damage and a lot at that because Water Gun is a one turn fast move and it's pretty fast. So it's going to be doing neutral damage uh, or possibly super effective if you're up against fire types. But uh, generally speaking, neutral damage um, towards everything <laughs> for the most part. Um, so it could be pretty, pretty fun. Uh, team or pretty fun Pokemon to use and then of course they have Surf as well. Surf does take longer to get to uh, now But it does do more damage. Then we have a Lolan Raichu. Lolan Raichu does have Volt Switch as a fast move So pretty strong there and then Brang Zong uh, Moving on to the other options I don't really think we'll see many of these Pokemon to be completely honest It was kind of hard to put together some of the some of these Pokemon on this list, but we have Solrock and Lunatone Hypno, I mean Hypno has Shadow Ball, but it's gonna take a while to get to Shadow Ball uh, compared to some of the other Pokemon that you're battling, so it's it's better just to use some of the other ones. Gallade is interesting. Gallade has Leaf Blade, but Leaf Blade is neutral for sure against a lot of Pokemon. Uh, actually, a lot of things, now that I'm looking at it, actually do resist it as well, like the Fire types. Uh, and then you also have, um, like, uh, the Galarian Slowbro, Galarian Slow King. Uh, so things like that uh, actually are going to resist Leaf Blade, but Close Combat is also going to be resisted across the board as well because um, everything is Psychic type, right? So, yeah, not going to be the greatest Pokemon, and I feel like Girefri kind of suffers in a similar way. It has Confusion and Psychic Fangs, which is a good moveset, but um, Psychic Fangs will debuff the opponent, but again, it's resisted. Uh, and then Wobbuffet, Metacham, Bruxious we might see with Bite, uh, doing neutral damage. I think I've used this in the past. The Festiox is in Jirachi. Again, I don't really anticipate a lot of these Pokemon. Again, maybe the Bruxious, right? But uh, for the most part, everything else, probably not really going to see those Pokemon. But let's go ahead and move on to the solid team options. So, for the first team, I do have Melama on the lead with the safe swap as Goliath, Rapidash, and Chimeco. Again, with that Rapidash, I do like the Body Slam, even though it was nerfed this season with Mega Horn, and I think it's a great safe swap. Um, Megahorn going to be super effective or neutral uh, against everything, so it's pretty safe to run. Uh, and then next up, we do have Trimeco in the lead. You could go with Goliath Slowking if you wanted to instead. Um, for the Hex damage, this one has uh, the Astonish da damage and then Double Fairy. So again, safe swap, Goliath Rapidash. Um, and and lure out any possible answer, whether they have a Steel-type right, and then God of War, of course, doing well, or a Poison-type. Um, and then moving on, we do have the double water gun uses, as I mentioned. So Slowbro and Slow King could be a lot of fun uh, to use in this meta. And then Metang. Um, Metang is going to do well against the fairy types, whereas the back line uh, just going to be doing a lot of water gun damage. And then the Metang is also going to resist the Dragon Breath if you happen to run into it against like Latios. Um, so we'll see. Uh, and then next up, we have Malamar and then Claydol and Goliath Slow King. So Claydol with the Mud Slap. Let's go. It's going to be doing super effective damage towards the Goliath Slow Bro and Goliath Slow King, which I think is really important. I love it. Um, I, I think if you want to safe swap one, uh, obviously, so Malamar, Malamar is a good lead. It just doesn't want to see the fairy types, right? Like the God of War, obviously, or the Rapidash. So you pretty much have to say, say swap out if you run into one of those, uh, into like the Slow King. Um, and then next up, we have Goliath Rapidash with Victini uh, and uh, Goliath Slow Bro. So the Victini, I felt like was a pretty good safe swap in the past, but 
Nowadays, with the mud slap, probably seen more and more Claydo. Probably not the best. I mean, the back line, both both Pokemon in the back are going to be weak to Claydo. Uh, so if you want to, instead of the slow bro, you could go with the slow king. Because at least if you have the slow king, you'll be doing super effective damage towards Claydo, right? So Claydo might just go to town against this team. Unless we go with the slow king. So maybe the slow king instead of the slow bro uh, on this team to lure out the Claydo. So yes, they're doing super effective damage towards you, but you also also doing super effective damage towards them right uh, and then next up we have Chemeco in the lead with the Galarian Slowbro and Galarian Slow King so uh, double slow I guess double slow team is that what you want to call it uh, but either way uh, these are going to be my initial teams let me know what you think let me know what team you plan on trying out in the Psychic Cup and I'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching have a good day bye